Hello everybody. Today, my family went to the M1 telco shop at IMM and we bought a Galaxy A8 star for my mom. And, uh, and as additionally, I also went to bought a, an extra USB Type-C cable for my mom to use, as well as a flip case to protect the phone itself. All right? Here are the specs for the Galaxy A8 star listed on the back of the box. And let's do a quick unboxing of it. All right? Here we have the Galaxy A8 Star in its full glory. On the back, on the right side is the power button. The bottom has the headphone jack USB-C port. Left side has the volume rocker as well as the big speed button. I also forgot to mention that the back has the fingerprint sensor as well as the dual 16 and 24 megapixel cameras. Both however do not have OIS. And this is the front of the phone itself. It's a 6.3 inch infinity display that is of full HD plus resolution of 18.5 to 9. And here it is compared to the Galaxy Note 8. The dimensions are practically more or less the same, although you can see that the A8 star is perhaps slightly thicker. And the screen protector here was applied at another shot where it does not come with the phone itself. However, this clear case does come bundled with the phone itself but it is not pre-applied to the phone in the first place okay so here is where the instruction manuals will be located as well as the pin for ejecting the sim tray this sim tray by the way is a hybrid dual sim slot which means that you can have either two sims or one sim and the micro sd card slot the phone has 64 gigs of memory to start with so here we have the warranty papers as well as a quick start guide that I bet most people don't read anyway. Okay, so here are the main accessories inside the box. We've got the adaptive fast charger which conforms to Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 standards. A earpiece as well as a Type-C cable. Interesting enough, I'm not sure why but Unlike Samsung flagships, which have now have black color, color accessories, Samsung still insists on using the old white color ones for non-flagship for some reason. I'm not sure about it though. Okay. Next, we have the Type-C cable that I bought. It was only $790, which is pretty cheap. When I bought my first spare Type-C cable two years ago, it cost me nearly $18. But this time, prices have gone much cheaper given that Type-C can become more and more ubiquitous. Okay. Unbox the cable. cable. Alright. Wow, finishing is much better than I expected for 790. Goodness. Okay, next we have the clip case that I bought. Good. So let's apply the clip case onto the A8 star and let's see how it looks like. Rather nice, doesn't it? 